I don't know anything, not one thing. Clint Eastwood's character has the last and truest line in the 1993 movie, A Perfect World. A prison escape, a kidnapping, a friendship, and a storyline about how this is not a perfect world. Kevin Costner plays Butch, a man on the run, who finds a common bond in Philip, the boy he kidnaps. And here is the connection. Abuses in this life force the abused into imperfect situations, making sad choices, looking for that perfect world. It is the very situation I pose to students. Young idealism producing a desire to change the world is wonderful. But many of the young faces in my classes have yet to realize the world is not black and white. So whenever someone writes a paper about justice, health, environment, or governmental concerns, I ask students to answer two questions about their view of life. Number one, what does your perfect world look like? And number two, how will you get us there? They can't answer the first question. No one since Adam and Eve can answer the first question. In fact, I'll go further to suggest that you and I would have made the same choice to rebel against God. But the real issue is one of perfection. If there was ever a perfect world, it was in Eden. So think about this. Adam and Eve were perfect, living in a perfect environment, and they had not yet sinned. If anyone had a shot at a perfect world, it was Adam and Eve. The Eden account tells us that there was only once a perfect world. The world we live in now is imperfect. So the next time someone wants to tell you about how to make a perfect world, tell them to watch the movie by that title and answer those two questions. And consider after watching the movie whether or not you agree with that last line. I don't know anything, not one thing. For Truth and Two, this is Dr. Mark Echo, president of the Cominius Institute, personally seeking truth wherever it's found.